Hi! You probably heard that Steven Spielberg used an HTC Vive when making Ready Player One for his camera work. You can do this too if you're using Altidus Maya and have a HTC Vive, Oculus Rift or any Windows MR headset. You can use Marui plugin to jump right into your Maya scene and do your camera work there. Let me show you how. Here I have a scene of a set that I want to use. For this set, I know that Maya units relate to real world centimeters. So I go to the Marui settings, Scene, Display, Scale, Position and Orientation section and set it to centimeters. Now, when I start Marui, the scene will be the correct scale. Before I start the camera work, I want to adjust the lighting. So I make sure that the lighting mode is set to all lights. Ok, time to jump into VR. Now, I switch to the lighting and rendering mode. Here I have access to the lighting and rendering menu. First, I want to create a new spotlight. Here it is. Ah, let me point you over here. In order to adjust the lighting parameters, I open the channel box. Here I have access to all the Maya light settings, such as the cone angle, the number, and drop off. Now I want to create some cameras. I do this with the POV camera tool. This tool allows me to quickly create Maya cameras from my current point of view. I simply drag the frame that I want the camera to see. Here it is, a new Maya camera. It will have exactly the field of view that I just set for it. However, often you will have a specific aspect ratio that you need to keep, such as 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. You can do this by setting the tool settings for the POV camera tool. Here I can force a specific aspect ratio, let's say 16 to 9. Now when I move the tool, you can see the red rectangle will exactly create a 16 by 9 aperture camera. I can hold down the shift key to rotate the frame. Now I want to animate my camera. For this I go to the animation mode. Now I have an animation menu on my right hand and a time slider on the left hand. With the time slider I can move through the Maya timeline. And in the animation menu I can create and delete keyframes for the currently selected object. So let me set the keyframe here. Zoom forward in time, move the camera, and set a new keyframe. Now you see a new keyframe has been created, and Maya will animate the camera motion in between. If I want to check the camera's view during animation, I can Look through selected. However, there is an even easier way to animate cameras. I can simply attach them to my controllers or to my headset by using constraints. Let me show you how. First I create a new camera.
I select it. I open the Marui Constraints menu. Here I can set Attach Maya object to VR device. And I will attach it to my headset. Now, when I press Constraint, the camera will be attached to my headset and follow every head motion. I can even set constraints to automatically record keyframes for the attached object. Now you can see a camera animation has been created. And that's it! Now you too can use VR technology to make camera work easier and more fun. Thanks for watching!